Welcome to the channel. Today we will see Stanley Finds Living Stone by Lawrence Wilson. Let's we see the short answer. Who had given Stanley the assignment to find living stone and why? James Gordon Bennett Jr., editor of the New York Herald, decided to capitalize on the public's craze for news of the explorer. He sent Stanley to lead an expedition into the African wilderness to find living stones or bring back proof of his death. At age 28, Stanley had his own fascinating past. What were Stanley's reason for accepting the assignment? Stanley was a journalist and explorer sent by the New York Herald to find Livingstone, a missionary who had been in Africa for many years. As he wanted to prove himself with great achievement, he immediately accepted the task to find Livingstone in Africa. Describe briefly the luggage Stanley packed for the expedition. In January 1871, Stanley started his voyage. He decided to reach Ujiji on the shore of Lake Tanganyaka, which was 750 miles from the coast. It was from this place people received information about Livingstone finally. Mr. Bennett did not send money to Stanley as he promised, yet through his persuasions he borrows money from the American consul. He decided his budget and bought supplies for two years. His luggages contained weapons, bullet clothing, tent medicines, utensils for cooking, food and native money. This luggage was around 70 pounds. Stanley employed 200 Zanzibars as porter. Two white men were appointed to supervise them. They started their sail from the mainland in the month of March. On the way, he heard some more porters. They enjoyed with their families and cattle and started the journey with cheerful. Through various routes, extended to reach Ujiji. Out of ignorance, Stanley selected a tough route. He the hot climate affected the sailor and due to the insect people suffered with fever. Stanley started to face many problems. The native porter, after getting money for the assigned work, escaped from the place and some others stole the things that they were carrying. The next eight months were the tough period for Stanley as he kept the supporter either by force and by affection. Why did Stanley decide to escape from Yawaha country? Stanley, by deciding to avoid battle, traveled through unknown country. The sailors suffered with various diseases and when they tried to escape, Stanley chained them and put them under his control. When it was 60 miles for Ujiji, he received information from the people that a white man was living there. Stanley was excited to receive such information by considering him as living stone. To reach Ujiji, they had to cross Waha territory, but the head of the Waha tribe was demanding huge amount to cross the area. He had to cross five such villages to reach Ujiji, and each place demanded huge amount to cross the broad border. So he decided to take another route, which was obviously a longer one. He and his crept away and by force marches over plains and hills escaped from the Waha country. How did Dr. Livingstone receive Stanley? What does he tell you about Livingstone character? Ujiji people gathered to welcome Stanley. Livingstone's servant welcomed him and directed him to the house. Stanley was uncertain about the reception of Livingstone as Stanley suffered with inferiority complex about his birth and childhood life in UK. He had doubts about Livingstone's reaction. But his braveness and talent to cross many troubles in a voyage gave his confidence. Livingstone's a kind person invite him with love. Soon Stanley understood the greatness of Livingstone and started admiring him. This was a voyage brought great fame for Stanley. In the video, like like, share, comment, subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.